Hey yo, make sure you check out the Bro Nine tracks. Savage to a law, the black man struggling, black vans come for him. All this crime, divine in the spirit, and wolves in the street. Our kids gotta eat. We move with the savage. Peace to a law, the black man struggling, black vans come for him. All the time, divine in the spirit, and wolves in the street. Our kids gotta eat. We move with the savage. Yo. Hey yo, LAZ man, holla at me if you need those features. You heard, collab with me on the song. I got beats too, that's fire. You heard, if you're a rapper, you're a producer, you want to put in that music, work with me, get at me. You already know I got that promo on Instagram and YouTube. Get that collab and that promo for one great price. You heard, send me an email at the gempopllc at gmail.com or hit me up on Instagram. Send me a DM at Real St. Laz. Yurt. Hey, yo, I'm Fab, focused on understanding life. This is Gem Pop TV, and these are the five Brooklyn albums you better be streaming. One, Smith & Wesson, The Shining. Two, Jay-Z, The Dynasty. Three, MC Light, Eyes on This. Four, Big Daddy Kane, Long Live the Kane. Five, B.I.G., Ready to Die. Anyway, man, humble lads, humble lads, man. Humble lads. I'm a humble guy, man. You heard? Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. You heard? I'm a humble guy, bro. <coughs> v Tantry, what's poppin'? Harlem World, what's poppin'? Crazy Bailey, what's poppin'? Just being honest, what's poppin'? King Far Rock, what's poppin'? Silver Bear, what's really good? Cruddy Dave, what's poppin'? D. Joseph, what's really? Yeah, man, so you know. I went to Jersey Shore for the last few days. I was in Jersey Shore, that's why I was missing in action. I went to Jersey Shore, you know what I mean? Atlantic City, go to the beach and shit. You know what I mean? Went to the Ocean Resort. That shit was beautiful. Got some good swimming games in. You heard? But, um, yeah, man. Um, <coughs> I went out there and shit. Shit was dope. You know, I've been a sleazy, dusty ass Atlantic City many a time. Shout out to Atlantic City. Love, love the hood in Atlantic City. But the casinos and all that, them shit's is sleazy, man. Sleazy E, man. You heard? But we shot down there, man. Took my kids swimming, got in that good ocean water. I feel like every nigga need to soak his body in that salt water at least once a year. I feel like that shit heals shit. It's shit in the sea. I was breaking down on my kids. This is deep. We was in the ocean. I was breaking down on my kids. I said, yo, man, you want to know why the beach is a deep place? I'm going to tell you why the beach is a deep place. This water that we in right now. This water been on this planet since the beginning of fucking time, my nigga. This is not a pool. This is ocean water that been on this planet since the planet been here. You heard? So when you going in that water, my nigga, not only is you in water, you in time, nigga. You in history. That water is here now, was here before it was here, and it'll be here after we here. That shit contains the energies of the past, present, and future in that motherfucking water. It's energy and motherfucking um, power in that water. You heard? So when you soaking up in that water, nigga, you soaking up in the world's history. That's why the, that's why beaches is deep. And that salt water in them oceans is deep, bro. That shit is old man, all time of man is in that motherfucking water, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? All that shit is connected around the whole world, too. That water is connected around the whole world. But yeah, by G, so you know, we was out in Atlantic City and shit, my nigga, and um, shout out to the bro Mo from Atlantic City that I ran out from Newark that I ran into on the beach. You know what I mean? That's a Gen Pop gang representer. You heard? I seen a bro. Um, I seen a few dudes out there, man, but you know, I used to fuck with a broad in Atlantic City, so I used to be out there. You heard? That shit is the hood. And while I was out there, you know, I w it felt fucked up because we staying in a motherfucking ocean resort eating shrimps and lobsters and shit. You know, I don't eat no fish, but my wife do. You heard? We staying at a, a ocean resort eating shrimps and lobsters and shit. But 
you know, right down the block, niggas is poor as a motherfucker in Atlantic City, my nigga. It's one of the poorest places in the fucking country. So that shit was kind of disgusting. I'm like, yo, I feel bad, man. We we up in here eating shrimps and lobsters and, and swimming around in motherfucking heated pools and shit. Niggas down the block fucked up. They can't afford no $250 a night hotel. You understand what I'm saying? So that shit made me think, man. I'm like, damn, every neighborhood that got gambling and casinos or every neighborhood like that is a surrounding area where niggas is poor and fucked up. You can't tell me that shit ain't because of them casinos. Them casinos be draining the revenue out the motherfucking, out the um community. But yeah, I was out there, my nigga. Got some good swim boy. You know a nigga, nigga old now, my nigga. So I was, I was swimming like a motherfucking fish. I ain't swimming a minute. So, you know, I was swimming, trying to do real swimming and all of that. You know what I mean? Thinking it's a game, but little do niggas know that swimming is a serious workout, my nigga. Swimming is a serious workout, bro. That night, as soon as we was out that motherfucking pool and beach, because we went to both in one day, that night, nigga, my shit bent up. Nigga, whole body sore. You be swimming in that water, that shit like lifting weights, my nigga. Nigga, whole body sore. My wife was motherfucking getting ready to get in the shower. I'm laying down in a hotel bed. My wife about to get in the shower. Her shit bent over like this. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Why you bent up like that? It's like, yo, my whole body sore from that swimming. Then I realized, damn, my whole body sore too. So then it was my turn to get up and get in the shower. Nigga, my shit bent over like this too. Like, ugh. Nigga was doing the gritty like. Know what I mean? I'm, I'm walking to the shower doing the motherfucking gritty. My shit's so bent up. Nigga, whole body sore. We talking about, yeah, we gonna shower up and we gonna go back out to the pool tonight. Nine o'clock. Niggas was like this, nine o'clock. <laughs> what? Where we at? Oh, in Atlantic City. But yeah, my G's. Know what I mean? My kid's like, yo, put your phone down. No editing for the week. No editing for the two days that we here. No, no, the nigga, I was editing episodes. Know what I mean? Niggas was, niggas was preventing me from doing interviews. I'm trying to sneak off into the hallway, do an interview. They complaining. You feel what I'm saying? I was like, damn, man. But nah, eventually I had to just leave my phone in a fucking hotel room. Get on that beach and go do me, have some fun. You understand what I'm saying? Leave the motherfucking work alone for a hot minute. You heard? But, um, yeah, my G's, niggas had me doing the gritty. My whole body, I was so bent up, nigga, I was just walking around doing the gritty. The whole hotel, like, yo, what up, how you doing? Niggas like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with that nigga? That's a nigga who ain't had no exercise in about 15 years. You heard? But yeah, my G's, man, my view, the view that we had in that hotel room, outstanding, outstanding. You understand? So he was chilling and shit, my nigga. I be having to be in spots like Atlantic City and shit when I want to go vacate because I don't fuck with planes, my nigga. I just don't fuck with them, my nigga. One day I hope I get over my fear, but I just don't fuck with them shits. You feel me? So I got to fuck with Dirty Dusty. My shit, no matter the casino we were staying in, the resort, that shit was new as a motherfucker. That shit only been there for five years because, you know, they demolished mad at them old casinos. In Atlanta City, shout out to my bro Shrine B. My nigga's like my nigga Shrine B. He literally had to relocate to Las Vegas because so many casinos closed in Atlantic City. So they demolished a lot of them casinos and they built the new ones. The one we were staying in is a new joint called The Ocean. That shit only been there for five joints. My nigga, that shit already smell like the way Atlantic City smells. Like, as soon as you step off, yeah, the, the hotel is beautiful. But once you step on them room floors, as soon as you step out, Shit smell like cheap cologne failure and desperation, nigga. You heard? That shit smell like cheap cologne and desperation. I'm like, damn, bro. This shit only been here for five years. This shit already smell like piss and cigarettes. Like, damn. You gotta just stay in your room. Atlantic City, man. You know, gamblers, like, old ass, retired. Get them niggas is some smelly motherfuckers, like. Niggas, man, look, I'm 70. I ain't taking no shower. I ain't doing none of that. I ain't getting no pussy, nigga. I'm here to gamble. That's it. But I'm going to tell you something, though. This is all facts. And this is this is a whole fact. You know, 
I'm, I'm settled down now, but at one point in my life, I was like a fucking gigolo. You understand what I'm saying? I was like a fucking gigolo, nigga. I'm out there looking for the, looking for that chick with the bitter rag. I'm going to tell you like this. If a nigga out there looking for a chick with a bag, you're going to find that bitch in Atlantic City, my nigga. You heard? Because I was walking around that shit, and them old broads in there, man, they was throwing they self on the motherfucking altar for me like this. I was like, I'm trying, I'm chilling, but if I was on some bullshit, I will be laying all type of cock down to these old broads. You feel what I'm saying? Man, these bitches are retired, widowed, bitches got 100,000 in the bank insurance money. They come in Atlantic City to, 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 to play five, six thousand dollars. Nigga, listen, nigga, that's the bag. You feel me? I even told my wife, I said, nigga, you lucky, you lucky. Your ass is here with me in this hotel because it's all type of sugar mamas running around here with big bank, big checkbooks. You heard? I'll be in here laying my best. Listen, nigga, go, you get that out, bitch be like, yeah, you know, I live alone, I'm 65. Like, I seen this chick, this, she had to be like 65, but she was bad, bro. Head to toe, flies a kite, clean, crispy, hair done crazy. You understand what I'm saying? Super crazy outfit that I could tell she spent some guap on. I'm like, yo, this broad caked up. Listen, nigga, catch me on a bad day. I lay that Robocop pipe down on your ass, nigga. I piped a whole social security check out you for the rest of your life. You heard? She'll train. I fucked that broad so crazy. She'll transfer her social security into my name. Like, you're going to get this 1200 a month from now on, okay? With that dick you gave me, I'm going to give you this whole 1200 every month. You heard? I'm telling you, bro. So I was out there. I was tight because the old me, I'm like, old gigolo lads, man. And you should have been out here before, nigga. You heard? Because I'll be, you know, I'm an old nigga. But in, in Atlantic City, I'm a spring chicken, nigga. You heard? In Atlantic City, a nigga, a whole spring chicken. My shit feeling like I'm 25. Them motherfucking 60 year old bitches in there. I'm walking around, I'm like this. What's up, baby? What's up? They like this. Who's that? Yeah, nigga. Fresh meat up in this bitch. What's really hood? You heard? I'm looking at these bras. I'm just shaking my head. I'm like, I'm going past the casino. I'm seeing bitches are sitting at the old broad, sitting at the casino. Bitch got 6,000 on the machine. Like she done won 6,000 already and she's still playing. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like this. <sighs> Telling my wife, you lucky nigga. You lucky nigga, you lucky I love you nigga. Cause these bitches out here with seven racks on the machine nigga. You heard? I'll be walking around their room with no shirt on with some speedos. You heard? Catch a nigga like me, I have a pair of Speedos on with no shirt, gut hanging. Like this, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing, man? Yeah, this is my, this is my lady. Bitch, 75 cash. I'm like this, yeah, this is my lady. What's, you got a problem? Real talk, bro. That Atlantic City shit, that shit is a come up. If you a fly nigga, and you in your 40s and all of that, and you, you fucked up and you ain't got nowhere to stay, you ain't got no money, listen, nigga, save up, get, get up 500, and take your ass to Atlantic City, my nigga. And just loiter in them restaurants and casinos, my nigga. I was in the elevator, right? I stepped into an elevator. It was like five older black broads. So, you know, I speak to let them niggas know I'm black. Because if I don't open my mouth, they think I'm Spanish. And then they don't reveal their true colors. You heard? So I came up and I'm like, yeah, man. I'm like, yo, excuse me, pardon me. Pardon me, you Pardon me. Know what I mean? Bro, it's like, okay, this nigga black. So I get off on the on, on the 20th floor. One of the one of the older ladies in there, she like, 20? You anybody? I'm like, yeah, that's me. And I step off. She like, anybody else for 20? And, I, and as I'm walking down the hallway, I just heard it, one of the chicks say, Yeah, I ain't on 20. <laughs> I wish the hell I was, though. You heard? And all of them start laughing. <laughs> Little do they know I'm behind the corner like this. All right, bitch, I'm going to get that social security and that retirement. You heard? All them bros laughing. Then the funny shit is, later on, I'm strolling through with my wife and my kids, and we going into the pool area, and she's right behind us, and she like putting her head down like, damn, I was flirting with this nigga. Now nah, this is him with his wife. Nah, I held the door for her and still spoke to her. How you doing? How's everything? Nigga, 
fuck is you talking about? I ain't going to act like I don't know who you be just because my wife is around. But anyway, I was tight, man, because the bro was like 60 something. She was bad. She had she had her, her shit was, you know, how you see some of them older chicks. They just got anything together, nigga. Hair, nails, feet, n nothing looking, nothing looking fucked up on them. That paper, right, nigga. You got to have paper to keep yourself that upkeep like that. I'm like, man, listen, I'm in the wrong. I'm on YouTube telling jail stories. I need to just be roaming around Atlantic City casinos, nigga. This where the real bag is at. I ain't got to argue with niggas like this nigga for $200 in, in Instagram. You heard niggas in my DM pissing me off over 200 when motherfucking Sally Mae, Sally Mae got 9,000 on the machine, nigga. What the fuck am I doing? I'm in the wrong business. Real talk. I'm going to start throwing a once a year hunt with me and a couple of my niggas. We just go out to Atlantic City, go to the best casino out there, and we just hunt. Hunting for old, I'm hunting for cougars, nigga. You heard? I'm going to get a motherfucking t-shirt printer, cougar lover, with a big cougar going across the shirt. Cougar lover. That's my word, nigga. The next time I go out there, I'm getting a t-shirt that say cougar lover. I'm gonna be like this, just walking around the fucking casino with a drink in my hand like this. Nigga done been there for two days, nigga played $20 in the slots. You heard? My shit like this. Hey, how you doing? By the time two days ago, I know every motherfucking broad on the casino floor. Then they got the room of the casino room that's for high betting only. Shit for high betting only, nigga. That's the shit I'm gonna be really stalking. You heard? The high betting only room? Nigga be like this. Nigga be looking in that shit like, oh yeah, that bitch Diane is in there right now. That bitch Diane in there right now about to bust open that pension. Know what I mean? Straight up, nigga, I got to get back out there, bro. I got to get the fuck back out there. But yeah, my kids, man, every vacation, I got to balk their head off like her. All three of my kids, I had to balk their motherfucking head off on a vacation. My oldest daughter, she got an attitude with shit. Every little thing I say, she barking on me. I'm like, yo, listen, nigga, you ain't going to be just be barking on me and shit. You heard? Fuck out of here, nigga. I shot you in the space, nigga. You ain't going to be motherfucking barking on me, nigga. Sit your ass down somewhere. Then my middle daughter. She just the type of motherfucker, every time we go somewhere, she just got to make shit painful. If we miss one little thing, nigga go on a vacation, I done spent a million dollars on these motherfuckers. You heard? We go one place, we can't have one thing, she tight. I'm like, yo, listen, bro, I had to, I had to snap her ass in reality yesterday. I said, listen, my nigga, I'm fucking broke, all right? We just came out of the uh, expensive ass cause nigga vitamin waters was 550 nigga. I did some mad ignorant shit. My wife is a funny nigga. We in the motherfucking spot, right? We order some food and shit. The food was normal prices, but we go so see yo snatch up some drinks, you heard? This is how they get you in the casinos, nigga. I'ma tell you how pissed off I was. So I go, I see yo snatch up some drinks, you heard? Get about you know four, five vitamin, get four vitamin waters, man. And two sodas or whatever, man, and water and all of that, man. Now we got like, now nah, literally, it was, it was, it was three vitamin waters, a soda, and a and a regular water, right? Came up to the shit. Bitch talking about, that'll be 25, 37. My wife, ignorant ass, she just turned around and looked at me like this. I said, what happened? She said, 25. Th she said, how much is a vitamin water? 550 in tax. I said, <clears throat> Swept them shits off the motherfucking counter in one arm sweep. Ooh. Threw them shits right back on the shelf. Broop. Fuck out of here, nigga. Said, nigga, I'd rather go out the hotel and walk into the hood ducking shots, fighting gangs and all of that, before I pay $5.50 for a motherfucking vitamin water, nigga. You crazy? So my, my cheap ass, I'm walking around the whole resort. Yo, how much is that? Six? Niggas got higher prices. I'm like, yo, I asked, I said, yo, all the fucking beverages in here is five and six. You're like, yeah. I said, damn, y'all niggas is robbing niggas, man. Got my kids in the motherfucking room eating ice. 
melting ice and they trying to get some water. We so thirsty niggas eating cups of ice. I'm like, yo, bro. I said, man, listen, I'm going in for supplies. My shit go out the next morning. You heard? I ended up submitting to some. I found some shit for fountain drinks for four cash. I ended up spending $22. I'm like, fuck that bitch. At least I saved three, four dollars. Fuck her. You heard? But the next morning I said, nigga, we ain't getting herb like this again. I'm going in for supplies. You heard dead men walking status, nigga. Because that's what it is. Going into the hood of Atlantic City is the equivalent of an episode of dead men walking. You feel me? So my shit like, I'm going in. Nigga, I come out the hotel, turn, take six steps and turn the corner. Whole regular hood convenience store there where everything you could possibly need, my nigga. So we in the hotel resort spending five fifty dollars on a vitamin water. And these niggas is literally... Eight, eight feet away from the hotel, my nigga. That shit had me pissed the fuck off. I called my bro. I said, yo, bro, fucking store right here on the same block, my nigga. She like, nah, I don't pass. I said, yo, come on, my nigga. Niggas paying nine dollars for a bottle of water in the fucking hood stores across the street. I said, never again. I know for next time, nigga. I know for next time. But yeah, niggas was stuck in that shit. Thirstier than a motherfucker, nigga. You heard? We was thirsty, but I'm gonna tell you the hat. Good hotel rooms, they give you a coffee machine, right? For free. They give you a coffee machine and coffee. What you do is you go get the bucket of ice, you make the coffee, and you make some iced coffee. And you got free iced coffee on them, nigga, all day, every day. Don't tell nobody I told you. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, that shit had me tight. But um, yeah, them prices, man. Them prices was 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 outrageous, my nigga. Yeah, I don't know how y'all niggas sleep at night selling a nigga a six dollar water, nigga. Shit worse than Yankee Stadium out this bitch. Heard the mother though, son. My shit was my shit was like, man, fuck that, man. Then when we was leaving Atlantic City, you know, the heroin problem out there is, is outrageous, my nigga. Like, that shit is outrageous how many dope fiends is out there fucked up. You understand what I'm saying? We leaving the bitch. I'm like, yo, man, my kids like, um, we want to go to such. I said, listen, nigga, we out the hotel. We done checked out. I'm not buying nothing in this motherfucking resort. We in the hood with it. What you want from Dunkin' Donuts? If Dunkin' Donuts can't satisfy your cravings, nigga, you going to be fucked up till we get back to the house in New York. You hurt? So then we went to Dunkin' Donuts. Then my kids is beefing because we said we was going to go to the real Atlantic City boardwalk, the hood boardwalk, because the resort got its own boardwalk and own beach that's private. You heard? It's small. But then you got the regular Atlantic City boardwalk. So she, my, my daughter beefing, yo, we ain't go to the regular boardwalk. You said we was going to go to the regular boardwalk. I want to buy souvenirs. So we go to the boardwalk. Niggas selling five dollar hoodies for 25 dollars my daughter want to buy them shit so i'm like nigga whatever man whatever you heard we going to niggas going to the 99 cent store they got a 99 cent i said y'all niggas came all the way to atlantic city to go to a 99 cent store but this was a real 99 cent store where everything in there is really 99 cent not new york where that shit is a dollar 29 store you heard i stay beefing with new york not um New York 99. So be like, yo, nigga, why you why you calling this and this a dollar twenty-nine store, nigga? Everything in show me one thing in this bitch that's 99 cent. They be mad at me, nigga. You heard? But yeah, we was in a 99 cent store. <sighs> My kids buying all type of silly shit. My son, this nigga, this dude, he he picks out a thing to pick out. This nigga picks out a lawn ornament. A ladybug lawn ornament with a sharp ass metal stick on the end of that shit. And he wanna play with that shit and hold it. I'm like, bro, you about to take out your whole eye fucking with this shit. Shit so old, the lawn ornament so old, the ladybug is is white damn near. You feel me? From being in the sun for 10 years, the paint coming off that shit. I'm like, bro. I just seen some award-winning Caucasian shit. You know what I mean? I just peeped some award-winning Caucasian shit. Bro was watering her flowers with with a jug of water with cauliflower in it. I never seen that before. 
the whole jug had was filled with cauliflower and water and she was watering her plants like i gotta google that shit but yeah my g's this thing got the faded ladybug you heard that shit faded like a motherfucker where you could literally see that that shit been on Atlantic City Boardwalk for about 12 years, my nigga. I'm like, this is what you picking? Then he want to beef with me because I won't let hold the shit in the car. My son is a trip, man. This nigga be on the iPad. I got to He can't. He, he going to take a break from the iPad today. But he on the iPad, right? He got, you know, that talking Tom game where everything you say to the cat, it repeat back to you. He got the talking Tom on the iPad, except for it's a parrot. You know what I mean? Like, it's a part two to that shit or something where it's a parrot. Right? So whatever Nick the parrot hears, that shit be repeating. So this motherfucker be having the iPad, and he always catches me where I bark on his ass. Like, like he do some shit, like hit his sister for no reason. I be like, yo. Stop the goddamn hitting. Stop hitting your goddamn sister. Then you just hear the parrot. Stop hitting your goddamn sister. And he be laughing. Oh, I'll be like, yo, that shit ain't funny, bro. That shit ain't funny. I'll be barking. Yo, what the fuck? Yo. Yo, you spilled the whole motherfucking juice on the motherfucking. You spilled the whole fuck. I'll be telling my daughter. Yo, come on, man. You spilled the whole motherfucking juice on the seat. And you just hear the parrot in the background. Yo, know, come on, man. You just spilled the whole fucking juice on the seat. My, my, my son be crying. My son be crying like he watching Martin Lawrence do stand up back in the 90s. I be like, yo, bro. You heard? Then we even got to laugh because the parrot saves the shit. So a half hour later, 20 minutes later, that shit will say some shit you said a half hour ago. We driving in the car, minding our business. The parrot just be like, yo, man, you spilled juice all over the fucking seat. Everybody in the car be laughing. I'll be like, oh, this nigga ain't never gonna learn no discipline with this motherfucking parrot around. You heard? Literally, I be barking on him like, yo, stop hitting your damn sister with that evil hater shit that you be on. And he just be smiling like, because he know the parrot gonna say that shit. And he, I be forgetting that he got the iPad. I walk away like, you heard what I said. I just hear that shit in the background. Stop hitting your sister. Stop hitting your sister. I'll be like, yo, this nigga right here, bro. This nigga right here, my nigga. Then this dude don't want to eat nothing. This dude don't want to eat nothing. Everything is yucky. Everything is nasty. Everything is poison. I'm like, bro, you got to start eating some motherfucking food. You heard? You 11 pounds soaking wet. You heard? My other daughter went through that shit when she was young. She wouldn't eat nothing. Nothing but macaroni and cheese. That shit had me stressed. You heard? For two, for a year and a half, she wouldn't eat nothing but macaroni and cheese. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna lose my motherfucking mind if this if this girl don't start eating some food. And now my son is putting me through that shit. He won't eat nothing, nigga. If that shit ain't a cookie or a potato chip, he like, I'm good. I be having long talks with him like, yo, listen, man, you gotta start eating, bro. You gonna be? He just be like, yucky. I'm like, damn, bro. I'm about to start Googling and researching how you force a kid to eat. We try the zinc shit. That shit be working sometimes. You give a kid zinc and it brings their appetite back. That shit work, but it be temporary. I mean, for two, three days, he'll be in the food and then that shit gone and he ain't in the food no more. You heard? That shit is a whack situation, my G's. You know what I mean? Random rain, which poppin', piff powers, which poppin'. Yo, I be hearing a lot of dudes be telling me, yo, lads, man, some of your stories, man, you buggin', them shit's supposed to be screenplays, you gotta start writing them shits out. You right, my nigga. You right, because me, I don't have regular day. People be having regular normal days. I don't be having regular normal days. There's always some bullshit with me, nigga. There's always something, nigga. You heard? It ain't never no, it's always something, nigga. Other day I lost my motherfucking bank card. I'm like, where the fuck my bank card at? You heard? I try to go up in the motherfucking store and buy some shit. Nigga like declined. I'm like, what? Yo, stop playing with me, son. He like declined. I'm trying to tap that shit with my motherfucking card. I'm like, chill, nigga. You 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 yelling that shit to the whole motherfucker? Declined. I'm like, Shh. I check my account. 
some nigga in Dunkin' Donuts buying shit in Dunkin' Donuts. You know, Dunkin' Donuts, you don't need no password. Dunkin' Donuts and Domino's. Anytime a nigga find your card, that's the first place they're going to go because they don't ask for a password. I see this nigga swiping Dunkin' Donuts off my card. I'm like, this motherfucker here got me in the motherfucking store getting declined in front of niggas because he's spending my last little couple of dollars in Dunkin' Donuts on my shit. That shit had me eat it, nigga. I'm going to call Capital One this week and balk them niggas out. Yo, nigga. Yeah. Make them niggas take off one payment out of 500. Yeah, that Dunkin' Donuts shit? Nah, that wasn't me, nigga. Get that shit off my shit. I need my money back and all of that. Word. Then the other day, I'm fucked up, nigga. I'm broke. My shit go up in the gas station. Know what I mean? I tossed the nigga like seven cash. Like, yo, here, my nigga. Pump six. You heard? Quiet. I'm, I'm being low. I just passed the nigga the seven cash. Yo, pump six. This nigga like this. Seven dollars, pump six. I'm like, damn, my nigga. Damn. I could have said that. I said... Pump six, that's it. Why the fuck you got to scream out how much money I'm putting in my shit? Nigga like seven, pump six? I'm like, this fucking nigga right here. Heard the mother, my nigga. I had to check that nigga, man, quietly. Look, yo, bro, if I pass you some bread and I just say pump six, you don't need to shout out the amount, my G's. You really don't, it's unnecessary, my nigga. You heard you, you. You, you, you putting my business out in the street now. You heard? I'm looking crazy. I'm, I'm in a big Audi truck, and I'm throwing seven cash in the gas, my nigga. You got me looking crazy out here, bro. He like, oh, all right, all right. All right man, I'm sorry. Yeah, bro, come on, bro. You got to be on point. We got to be on point. If you see I'm being quiet, and I'm like, yo, I'm giving you the look, nigga, because the store is crowded. I'm giving you the look like, yo, pump six. You see the stores packed with all type of females and shit. Nigga like, seven, pump six. I'm like, yeah, nigga, I only need an extra seven because my shit is almost full. I just want to make sure it's all the way full. Fuck out of here, nigga. Blowing my shit up. But yeah, man, Coffee Gang is in the building. My shit warm now. Pause. Louis V, what's poppin'? Mark Foster, what's poppin'? V Tantry, what's poppin' again? Ronnie Johnson, what's populating? Jack Rack, what's poppin'? Harlem World Breaker, what's poppin'? Sunni, what's really good? Jamila, what's poppin'? Melinda Adams, what's really? Making sure I don't miss none of the peoples up in here, man. This shit be. Oh my God. David Soto, what's really good? Non Karn, what's poppin'? Boyd and 12, what's really good? Silver Bear, what's really hoodie? Fever, what's poppin'? Moving forward, what's poppin'? My nigga blur in the building, what's poppin'? Sean Summers, what's really good? Yeah, nah, that water had me fucked up, son. I ain't no spring chicken no more, son. My shit, it wasn't, you know how next morning you be fucked up? Nah, I wasn't fucked up the next morning. I was fucked up the same night, nigga. I said, yeah, let me get in the shower. My shit like this. My shit going to the shower with the towel like this. Her. Nigga was grittying around the whole hotel for a whole day like this. Niggas looking at the fuck's wrong with this nigga, man. Nigga grittying through the whole casino. Nah, nigga, I'm bent up from that motherfucking swimming. Thought I was 16 again. I thought this was Howard Pool. Niggas diving in a three feet pool. Niggas was wowing in Howard. Niggas used to be diving off the lifeguard chair into a three feet pool, my nigga. Niggas Steven and Alex and them niggas, that nigga Shorts and them niggas. Niggas was diving off the motherfucking, off the lifeguard chair Howard Pool into three feet of water, nigga. Niggas doing summies, backflips, twists, 
and all of that and going in three feet of water like this whoosh. many of niggas done cracked they skull on the bottom of that Howard pool floor trust me you heard Steven and Alex them niggas was expert lifeguards and shit like that so they was able to get away with shit like that but when niggas tried to follow behind them niggas diving in three feet of three feet Howard pool many of niggas done cracked their whole forehead open on the bottom of that Howard pool floor my nigga and I, I probably was one of them. Should be making me laugh. I remember one time my son Long, nigga Long had Sean for my projects. That nigga was fucking we You know how back in the days niggas used to be dunking niggas in the pool? That nigga dunked me. That nigga used to be doing, You know, I was the youngest out the bunch, so niggas used to be torturing my, my young ass. That nigga dunked me in the pool one time. That nigga held me under the water for so long. I feel bad. I bit the shit out that nigga. That nigga was mad as a motherfucker. I said, listen, nigga, I play many games. I play many games. But one game I don't play is the water game, my nigga. I will bite your whole kidney out the side of your shit, nigga. I'll come up out the water with your kidney in my mouth like this. When it comes to not being able to breathe, I get real crazy. I mean, so my fault, my nigga, but you can't be dunking me under the water for an extra 10 seconds and all of that. Nah, bro. Nah, son. Bite your whole liver out right quick. But shout out to my nigga Long, man. That's my nigga. But yeah, man. Z Lord, though, putting it work. I got a crazy episode. You know, I'm holding on, like I said. I gotta start doing this as a nigga like me. I get an episode ready. I just go. But I'm gonna tell y'all niggas, I got an episode right now that's gonna do numbers on YouTube. That's gonna stir up some controversy on YouTube. You hurt? If you want your promo on that episode, holla at me right now when I get off this live. Send me a DM at Real St. Laz or send me an email at the Gempop LLC at gmail.com. And let me know what you trying to promote and I'll get you on this episode. If I don't hear nothing from a nigga in about two hours, that shit going out, my nigga. And for whoever is out there contemplating on whether or not they want to promote with Z-Lord, you heard? Watch how many numbers the episode do. And, you know, we talking organic shit. Like, I'm not with the fantasy views shit. Like, nigga, you, you, you are independent artist, a, a, a brand, a, a, anything like that. And you get seen by five, six thousand people in one day. That's excellent promotion, my brother. That's organic shit. Like we ain't talking about the fake ass. We talking about organic promo from organic human beings that be like, nah, I know who that is. I seen that nigga promo a few times. You feel what I'm saying? That shit is better than the souped up. Yo, pay me and I'll do this. And that, that shit be fake, my nigga. All these niggas that be doing YouTube views and SEO work. All that shit is a scam, my nigga. Niggas be having your videos and your shit get seen in India for 30 seconds. Yeah, it's a view. But that shit was in India for 30 seconds. Don't nobody give a fuck about your music in India. You understand what I'm saying? So if you promoting anything and you're not promoting on the Z Lord channel, my nigga, you bugging the fuck out. You bugging out, nigga, because I got that organic got that organic my nigga and i mean and then soon i'm gonna wrestle down a real sponsor and then that's a wrap man i'm locked in with my sponsor know what i mean so if you out there and you got some cake and you want them organic views and organic listens man get at me my nigga get at me but i'm dropping a reel on instagram for those who don't follow me on instagram I gotta tell these, I gotta tell y'all this shit because a closed mouth don't get fed. Yo, look, my Instagram page is going viral, my nigga. I don't say that, you know what I mean? Listen, I was on Instagram for 10 years with the same 2,000 followers. Nobody was following me. You know, I, I started deciding to be a, uh, a silly douchebag the way I am. I said, let me just be the silly douchebag that I am on Instagram. And now I'm going viral on that motherfucker. I got 25,000 followers and it ain't stopping. My shit go up 100 a week. Uh, sometimes 200 a week. It just keep going up. Boop, boop, boop. I got two motherfucking reels with over a million views. One reel is about to hit 2 million views. You heard? And I got a third one that got almost 800,000 views. But my real game is retarded. It's crazy. You heard? So when I when when it, when you promote with me, 
I'm promoting you on my Instagram, my TikTok. My TikTok be doing stupid numbers too. Go check my TikTok. Check what's going down. My shit going crazy on TikTok, but I don't run my TikTok. You understand what I'm saying? I don't run my TikTok. I just provide the content. You understand? Because I ain't got no time. I don't, I don't fuck with TikTok. But um, my TikTok is wilding. My Instagram is wilding. And the YouTube channel, you know, I got two, three of those. So it's like when I promote, I'm promoting everywhere, bro. I'm promoting everywhere. So any money you spending with anybody else to promote, you need to cease what you're doing and spend that motherfucking money with Z-Lord, Suicide Polo, with the Ski Lord. You heard because... I'm going to give you that organic promo that these niggas can't give you, my nigga. I'm going to make everybody in your hood call your phone, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I do over here. You heard? So my tolerance level be low, man, because I don't got no... Because when I was an artist, when I was in the game, if you don't know, z if St. Laz, look me up. If you don't know, a lot of y'all niggas only know me for jail stories and shit like that. But yeah, you know... My ball game is serious, you heard? And I got songs and videos with some of the biggest rappers that ever lived. And some of the biggest rappers that ever lived, they know who the fuck I be very well. You understand what I'm saying? Can't no rapper in New York. They don't know who the fuck I be. Not no nigga, not no real rappers in my age group. I don't know about these new age niggas, but all these legends in New York, can't none of them niggas tell you they don't know who Z-Lord is. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, niggas may front. A lot of niggas is fronting because I done blew up and they know they was they was curbing and acting funny when I was trying to come up in the game. And now they see me blow. They like, damn, this that nigga we used to shit on and shun. And now he blew the fuck up. And now we got a front like we don't know who he is. Y'all know who the fuck I am, nigga. Cut it out. But anyway. Yeah, but when I was a nigga trying to do this rap shit, son, it was very, very hard to find organic promo. Nigga, I had to pay Worldstar 800, 500, 1200. Worldstar was charging 1200 for an episode of a show, not like a video, a music video, an episode of a show. Niggas charging, no matter of fact, 1500. 1500, nigga. You feel me? Nigga, I'm tossing these niggas 1500. I'm tossing niggas 800, 900 here. You feel what I'm saying? That shit was raw. That shit was hard to be an independent artist getting up that type of money to promote yourself. So when I'm on here offering niggas this organic promo that's more effective than any nigga shit out there and a nigga be hesitating and playing games with me, it pisses me off because I'm an artist and I know how hard it is to find organic promo at a great fucking price. World Star was smashing niggas brain. Yo, give me eight. Niggas want eight and you got to pay the PayPal fee, nigga. Them niggas want nine cash to put a video up when they was in their prime. You feel what I'm saying? And I put many of videos on World Star with my own motherfucking money, nigga. You heard? So yeah, man. But yo, I ain't gonna talk a hole in y'all niggas' head. It's early. I might be back online later on tonight if I ain't caught up. But like I said, Percy Lee, which poppin'? 88G was really good. Christopher Pores, I appreciate you, bro. I, yeah, I know that bag is coming, my nigga. That big bag is coming, my nigga. You know, the sad thing about me is I move fast. Like, if you look up and read up on Geminis, you know what I mean? I'm a Gemini dragon. You heard? Niggas, niggas, they say about Geminis, you know, one of our, one of the, one of the things about us, we move so fast that the average people, we moving at two, three times faster than the average people. So we always got to wait for people to catch up on our grind when you a Gemini. Shit is disgusting. I got to sit around and wait for other motherfuckers to become in tune and understand what I'm doing. So, you know, even though a lot of y'all niggas been following me for three years with this story shit, you got people that's just discovering me right now. You feel what I'm saying? They just getting hip right now. So sometimes your grind be having to catch up to you. And that's the type of, I grind so crazy, the grind be having to catch up to me. And in the meantime, I got to deal with niggas on a, on, a, on a minute playing field when, bro, do you know what I'm doing out here? Like, what the fuck? So it's a rough business, my nigga. It's a rough fucking business, you know, but it's a challenge. And I'll be liking that challenge sometimes, my nigga. Her? Sometimes I sit back and look at my hustle and be like, damn, bro. You an you ex-felon? Because, you know, I'm an ex-felon nigga, bro. You know, they, they starting new laws and shit now. But, you know, I went to jail 
I was wrongfully charged with murder at 16 years old, and I got convicted of manslaughter. So when I go to put up, if I send that, see, it's different when you got a little drug charge, little assault charge on your record, gun charge, you got caught with a gun. You know what I'm saying? Niggas still hire niggas like that. But when that motherfucking employer comes across my background check, and that shit say murder in the second degree, criminal possession of a weapon, and two two counts of criminal possession of a weapon, and this and that, because I caught another gun charge when I came home from jail, but they didn't recover the gun. You understand what I'm saying? People just told them that I pulled it out on them and shit like that, but they didn't recover the gun. A lot of people don't know that. You could still be charged with a gun off of a witness's complaint, off a complaining witness. You could still be charged with a gun, but it's going to be a misdemeanor. So you heard, and it still just looked bad on your record, my nigga. Criminal possession of a firearm in the fourth degree. That's what the employer sees is, oh, so you came home and got caught with another ratchet. You feel what I'm saying? Like, allegedly, another ratchet. Because they never had, they never found that anybody could have said anything. And I ended up beating that charge anyway because they had no proof or no evidence and i should have sued the motherfuckers because they came to my house and took me out in cuffs in front of the whole fucking projects you understand what i'm saying and then y'all and then y'all couldn't convict me of the crime so i played my maggot ass and i should have sued the motherfucking police department i would have won but that's neither here nor there the bottom line is a nigga motherfucking out i don't even know what the fuck i was talking about man remind me what i was talking about But, um, yeah, my G's, man. Oh, yeah, I was talking about employees. Yeah, yeah, niggas ain't employees. I told you, even my parole officer told me. That nigga, he's like, yo, you been looking for a job? I said, yeah, man. I filled out about five, six applications, man. None of these motherfuckers called me back or they told me they ain't have no work. And he said, what you putting on a resume, man? You telling them niggas you've been convicted of a crime? I said, yeah, man, because I ain't trying to go through that shit where I'm at a job getting comfortable with a paycheck and then them niggas pop up talking about, can we have a word with you, Mr. Johnston? Uh, 30 years ago, we see, uh, he was like, yo, look. At this time, it wasn't no 30 years ago, but that nigga was like, yo, bro, my own parole officer told me. He said, yo, look, don't ever put on an application that you was convicted of manslaughter because ain't nobody hiring you and i'm a parole officer telling you that he said man you put that shit put i've um um possession of uh, a controlled substance he said put that shit you feel what i'm saying he said don't put no motherfucking manslaughter criminal possession he said them niggas ain't hiring you nigga nobody ain't working around no murderer you feel me i was like damn bro this nigga telling me to lie on the application and he my parole officer so like I was saying, nigga like me, for 20 years I've been out here functioning with no motherfucking options, my nigga. I can't even drive a Uber, nigga. I done tried to sign up for Uber Eats. Them niggas shot me down. Yo, you got a criminal, you got a criminal background. I said, God damn. Nigga, that was 25 years ago. What the fuck? I can't drop off a motherfucking no chain. I can't drop off a motherfucking order of Popeyes to a nigga. Damn! The fuck? I can't bring two pies from Domino's with some cinnamon twist? I can't drop a nigga some cinnamon twist from Domino's because of some shit I did 25 years ago? God damn! Y'all make it rough. Y'all make a nigga want to sell some drugs out this motherfucker. But I be holding my head, son. I don't be having no time for no penitentiary, son. I ain't doing no crimes. I don't want nobody around me doing no crimes. If I find out a nigga around me doing crimes and hot box shit, I ain't with it. Uh, I know a nigga that I ain't even gonna talk about that shit. But niggas, are just, you you play around out here. Nigga, get in your whip with a bag of guns, nigga. Yo, son, let me put this bag in the back of your shit. That should be a bag of guns, nigga. You get pulled over. Listen, nigga. It's gonna be some hands and feet. It's gonna be some good hands and feet. But anyway, my G's, man, let me get the fuck out of here, man. I'm coming back on live later, man, later on tonight, man. I just want to tap in with niggas, you heard? David Soto, you already know, Gemini gang in the building. 88G, I appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate you, man, appreciate you, man, you heard? I'm living and learning like everybody else, my nigga. You heard? That's the ill shit about life. No matter how adult a nigga is, 
Man, we all fucking ch children of life out here, my nigga. I be looking at niggas 40-something years old walking down the block, and I just be like, no matter how old you are, bro, you are out here still learning and still trying to make a way and try to get this shit together, my nigga. Very few niggas got it all together. You could be in your 40s, 50s, nigga. We are all children at fucking heart, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? You can have kids. You Sometimes you wake up, you be like, damn, nigga, I'm a father and shit. Like, I'm still a mother. I feel like I need a father. You heard? So, this shit is real out here, my nigga. But this life is interesting, my nigga. We got to keep living it. You feel me? And see where it ends up. That's why they say it gets greater later, my nigga. It gets greater later, bro. And I'm just hoping that shit is true. And I'm just trying to grind, my nigga. I'm trying to grind just to be able to fucking not have no worries and stress, my nigga. You heard a lot of niggas want to grind and come up so they can shit, shine, and stunt. Fuck all of that, my nigga. I'm trying to grind so I could just stop fucking stressing and worrying. Stop worrying about my mom's health. Stop worrying about my kids' safety. Growing up in this wild ass city. My, my wife's go, gotta go meet her friend somewhere on the train. I got to worry about her getting stabbed and killed on the train. You know what I mean? Listen, bro. Nigga got to get, nigga got the cake up. Once you get to a certain age and you got kids and shit, you just want to cake up and protect them. You feel me? Protect your kids from harm's way. I was talking to a dude the other day, nigga was telling me some shit about, like, we'll, we'll talk about that. But bottom line is, my nigga, like, even this street shit, man, this street shit is corny, bro. This street shit is corny, my nigga, like, I mean, this shit don't lead nowhere to motherfucking jail or death. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, come on, we ain't, we, we ain't kids no more. We know this shit is a dead-end trap. How long are we gonna play around with a dead-end trap? Her shit is whack. But anyway, my nigga, I'll be back. Yeah, I need to get into that crypto, my bro. Urban Jenkins was popping. Bullish was popping. But y'all, I'm going to get back at y'all dudes later, man. I got to go make a run, you heard? Get at me, Z.